uh, hi everyone welcome to this session uh, so let's solve this very interesting interview question okay so this is a normal uh, ideal current source load of cs amplifier right cs amplifier so actually uh, the mosfet is properly biased in saturation okay and we have to determine the what is the small signal voltage gain okay small signal voltage gain that is nothing but g out by v in okay so this is the gain and for like uh, we, need to, we need to find the gain with respect to the channel length of this transistor okay with respect to channel length of this transistor okay so and we will try to plot the mod value okay mod of the gain okay and all of the other parameters while calculating remain constant okay so now first of all find the what is the gain of this circuit so small signal what is the gain we all know av is nothing but okay let's say this is av is nothing but v out over v in small signal is nothing but so this will be open circuit right in small signal and there will be output impedance of this mosfet right let's say ro so so we know that the small like the normal uh, cs amplifier with ideal current source uh, having a gain of minus gm times r naught right so for mod mod thing so this will be nothing but min uh, gm r okay so this is called the intrinsic gain of this mosfet so the this mosfet cannot have more gain small, cannot have the uh, more small signal gain than this value okay gmro so this is called intrinsic gain in intrinsic gain of this mosfet so now we have to find the gm and ro with respect to l okay now we have three gm expression right for a mosfet let's say mu n c ox w by l vds minus vtn so this is the one number one expression there is another expression is that 2id id mu n c ox w by l right and there is another is 2id vgs minus vtn now we need to ensure which gm expression is valid for this structure okay so how to uh, how to get the correct expression for that actually we have to see which parameter is deliberately given to us okay so in this case the bias current this i this id is given to us okay now we have to see who in which expressions we have this id so there is a expression uh, expression number two and we have expression number uh, three so this any of these two expression is needed for our calculation now we have to see for uh, like uh, which like we, we need to find the gm right and with respect to with respect to l now we have to see in which expression the, the the l is present okay so we can see there is no l right and in this expression we have l so for this particular problem this gm expression is uh, like need to be considered okay these two expressions are not valid for this for this particular circuit okay so this is not valid and this is not valid this gm expression is valid for this uh, for this particular circuit and calculations okay so we have gm of so we have this gm okay and now so from here we can write gm is proportionate to uh, on uh, on by root l right so this is let's say expression a now we need the ro expression so ro is always the output impedance expression is always ro is on by lambda id right okay ro is lambda id and we know that the lambda is proportionate to so this is this is called challenge length modulation coefficient okay challenge length modulation coefficient so how do you think how this uh, like lambda is related to l so 
the longer the longer the channel length lower the channel length coefficient okay so this is inversely proportional to l or you can think if uh, like if the channel length is higher the mosfet is more ideal so the r out will be higher okay so so we can find so this will be let's say write me again so this will be okay proportionate to proportionate to uh, on by on by l id so we need ro is proportionate to l okay so this is the thing so the, there is two uh, two conclusion we have r out expression r out is uh, uh, directly proportionate to l and our gm is uh, proportionate to 1 by root l right so now we have to see what is the final effect of this gmr so av gmr okay so let me clear so this will be so this will be gm is 1 by root l times l so what will be the case so this will be proportionate to proportionate to root l okay so we can directly see that the gain of a like the intrinsic gain of a mosfet is uh, proportionate to square root of l okay so this is l power half right so now if we try to draw try to draw the plot of l so this will be nothing but so this will be nothing but that right right root l so so here okay so so this is the thing so if we plot the thing so this will be so it will increase with the length but in like in a square root manner okay so this is the thing so now if i see the thing the okay so okay let me see the picture okay let me show the picture so this will be the uh, thing right so the graph will be looking like that okay so my my drawing i think not so good okay not so good but the final thing will be like that okay so this will be the thing okay so i think the slope is slope will be slightly so this will be the thing okay okay so this will be the correct expression okay so now we you can see this this plot okay this is the correct answer okay so thank you everyone you can give your valuable feedback okay so actually uh, in this uh, in this particular problem choose the gm like which expression of gm we should choose is the main fund okay Thank you everyone, you can put your value.